Thanks for staying with us on News Hub. And then one thing that's been very common in the last six months, this is May, or thereabout, especially in River State, is for us to talk about the political crisis brewing there. About three weeks ago, Governor Sim Fuba came out to talk about the fact that, look, everything was okay. I mean, the situation under control, no issues at all. But just last week, he came out to also announce that jungle don't matter. So it means that a lot of issues still need to be dealt with in Niger Delta, especially in River State. Former President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Goodluck Jonathan, was a guest of the River State government to commission a project. And he made a clarion call on the leaders of the state, especially the governor, the present governor, and the former governor of the state, who is now the city minister, to shed the sword so that the people of River State can have the best uh, when it comes to dividends of democracy. Let's take a listen to what he had to say, then we'll come back. Our guest is seated. Because the political tension in the state is coming to much. Transition in Nigeria is becoming a problem. At the center, presidents have been taken over from presidents. There are always issues, but I think it's better money. But at the state level, it's coming noisy in so many states. And I feel that is not the best. Outgoing governors and incoming governors must know that they work together for the collective interests of the citizens of the state. And that is critical because you must work together. In this case of real estate, Honorable Minister Yeson Wiki and Governor Silvio Bada must work together for developing the land and the people of River State. Let me also say it clearly, for those of you who are planning to sabotage it, it is your business. If we don't do it in our own time, I wonder when you're going to get it. So you need to buy into this project. The advantage of this project is making life easy for our people. I heard yeah, All right, thank you for staying with us. That's, that's, that was the, of course, the first person that spoke there is the former president of Nigeria, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, uh, appealing to uh, political leaders in River State to give peace a chance and to allow development to happen in that state. We're being joined now by uh, Victor Atta. Who is it? Sorry, Victor. I can't remember you being a governor. I before. was a former governor. So, uh, maybe you are seeing into the future, but it's okay. I'm a <laughs> cyber <laughs> state. I get a Victor Atta. No, no, but this is Victor Atta from Cross River State, actually. <laughs> All right, it's good to have you on the news hall. It's always lovely to be here. I won't lie to you. I, for some reasons, I have been asking myself that where is President Goodluck Jonathan? Because I know that, um, apart from the father, he's a Portaco boy. You know, mm. you know. Forget this reverse bias thing. For those who understand how that uh, area works, that's one. Number two, Governor, sorry, former Governor Yeson Wiki. Yes. Yeah, is um, is is political uh, son, if you like. Mm. You know, because of course you remember that the first time I got to know who is Wiki was when Dr. Gulag Jonathan appointed him as Minister of State for Education. And I fell in love with him with what he was doing at the time. I thought that what he was doing at that time, you know, so yeah, so I believe that um, uh, Dr. Gulag Jonathan had some influence mm. on uh, the political big wigs in River mm. State. And I've been wondering why for so long we haven't heard him speak. Perhaps he's been, he's been speaking to them behind closed doors, but finally he's, he's out there saying, look, let's uh, give peace a chance. Well, well uh, Dr. Ebele Jonathan is not one known for too much of speeches, uh, just like uh, Asiwaju was not really known for too much of sp speeches, but now he has no choice but to make speeches because mm. he's the president. Um, uh, good luck, Ebele Jonathan uh, is in law. Uh, to reverse people exactly. and uh, Bayasa rivers their sister states. Oh, uh, one is just older than the other. I grew up in the reverse state when there was no Bayasa. <laughs> I grew up in the reverse state that had a Bayasa as part of the <laughs> state. Yeah. So, so, so I, I was also worried why you took His Excellency that long, the, pre the former president, that long to make a comment because 
your backyard is burning and you're in your sitting room and you're not saying anything. And I know that uh, 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 former Governor Yusum Wike, now Minister of the FCT, is uh, also very loyal to Good Luck Ebele, Dr. Good Luck Ebele, Jonathan. Um, you know, when, when uh, Shenwu said uh, jungle don't mature by the governor, that's what quoting the governor, I was also praying that uh, it should not turn into jungle justice, uh, what is going on in the rivers. For me, I would say that, uh, let me, uh, first of all, appreciate the former president for taking that initiative to reach out to the parties. And I also know personally that the, uh, the incumbent governor of Viva State is also very loyal to uh, President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, former President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan. And now that is the leader we have from the Niger Delta. And everybody, and I believe this will put the rest to all of this for Goodluck Ebele Jonathan coming out as a father, as, the, as this generation father of uh, after them, Edwin Clark, the next level of leadership you have is uh, the former president. So it's a good call, and I hope that uh, politicians, just like uh, the, very, um, the very respected Bishop uh, Koka said, that politicians, they know how and when to meet and settle their uh, issues. I hope that uh, they, are, they, they should be mature about this and know that rivers play a very critical uh, you know, part of the Niger Delta. You don't play with politics in River State. These are, these are 5 point something million people. And those fighting and having these arguments and, you know, disagreement are just a minute of all uh, of the size of River State. So we would say that, uh, please, whatsoever happens in Rivers affects every other place. Oh. And that uh, we, need to, we need to be that core for political stability in River all State. Right. Some people, just as you said, I look forward to hearing the former mm. uh, president speak. However, mm. those who have been trying to really look deeply and listen and watch what's going on will say, if the former president says, work together, mm. let's bring that quote and unquote, work together. Mm. What would that mean for the people of River State? Based on the fact that there have been some issues raised by Governor Sim Fubara, mm. as well as some others, even though former Governor Wiki has not said anything, but his people, his body language and other things have been saying the same. There seems to be a missing link that many people are not really paying attention to. Something is in contention, which is the reason why both people who were very close, Godfather to Godson, are not as close right now. So if the former president is saying, work together, in what way are they to work together? To work together to give what Fubara says will not benefit the people, or to work together to give to the former governor who wants, according to some people, some things to himself. So what does that work together really mean for those people there? The work together means share the structures. Every, the capital, political capital of every politician is structure. How many who, who controls the states, the political structures like the words, the, uh, the LGAs and the chapters, somebody and the state ESCO, somebody must take that responsibility. So now, it's a give, politics is give and take. I'm sorry, yes. the, the time of um, mm. Governor Wicked then, yes. did, did he share any of such with his predecessor? I'm just trying to ask because... Brilliant, to look, yes. brilliant question, brilliant question. Uh, he, he did not. Okay. He did not, All right. and nobody asked him to share. Now someone has said, you guys work together. So that work <laughs> so, together is what we're looking at. Uh, it's, 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 to, it's a sharing formula. It's a sharing formula because, come on, you need to use rivers to knock off some other states during the election. Rivers, Edo, Akwaibo, very, very critical. So what people are looking for, these two elephants are looking for, is the structures, the soul of the party. Now, um, um, former Governor Wiki, now Minister, is a member of the, uh, the PDP. The Governor is the <laughs> leader of the water, party. Can I have some water, please? Is the leader of the party in the state. So one way or the other, there's a time, it's normal for you to bring up a child in a way he or she should go. When it gets to a certain time, you let them be. Okay. So somebody has to let someone be and monitor from the trenches to know, okay, what do we do and where do we go from here? River State has to move forward. Rivers people want to see, you know, the dividends of democracy turn into um, 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 feasible projects that they can see and they'll be proud of coming from that part of the country. So for me, I feel 
this fight must end. It must just go. And the elders, now Jonathan has spoken, I believe that political elders in that region must also say something. I because mean, the clerk has never cleared quiet. He had a split statement out even on, uh, yesterday, that was on Monday. Yes. You know, the, the thing is, politicking will start by next year. So now it is normal. Are you sure it has not begun? Uh, it, well, it's next year. By what you are saying is closed doors. Yes. <laughs> Next year, you see alignment and realignment. But the question is, what works for the Rivers people? And if you check, if you really go down and check what's going on in real estate, you see that the people are with the governor. I, I monitor the news and news at 10, and then I saw that people's were, people were excited. As journalists, we are trying to look at people's demeanor whilst you know, they are public, we want to see what you're doing. Okay. And people were excited to see the trans, trans Calabari um, Highway. People were excited. And this is something that has been there for so many years. No one has done anything about it. And this governor, an administrator, has come in to say, okay, do you know what? Let me go for the people and forget about the politicians. It's not an easy fight for the governor, mm -hmm. but I tell you, the people are with him. All right, Mr. Eta, let me uh, <laughs> let you know that at every event, yes. The people who attend that event will be excited. Oh, the people who attend that event. We didn't say that they are hired crowds. Who are interested? No, 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 not hiring. The same. Trust me. If Governor Wiki, former Governor Wiki, hosts an event today, this was on Monday. Hosts an event today, Tuesday. Yeah. There will be people there will be gathered there, and you will see the same excitement that you saw yesterday. I mean, some song. I don't even know what that means. I don't know. But you know, you know, I say. You're going to see. Yes, people yes, will always yes, be excited, yes. you know, but at the end of the day, really, yes. you find people on both sides of the divide, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. or, I mean, that's natural, actually. Yes, uh, but is. leaders are the ones who should, who should decide, you know, for, to look at the collective interests and see what will benefit all of us collectively. But politics is a different, slightly different thing from that nationalistic uh, view I'm to say, let's see what works for all of us. Politicians are more interested in what works for me. So you talked about political structure. Mm. I have not seen any politician in this life, mm. in this Lagos and Nigeria, <laughs> who will just sit there and say, I hand over my political structure to you. Even when politicians come in public and say, I hand over everything to you. In reality, wherever it is that they are donating to your campaign or to your structure, they still hold the person somewhere behind. The person still accounts to them because they also know that someday they will need those structures to either sponsor people or use them you know, to move. So at the end of the day, mm. I see, uh, um, I, I just see a very rough tenure for Governor Fubara the first term. And I, I, I hope that um, the stakeholders are able to manage, you know, possible violence that may erupt. Mm. But in terms of handing over political structure, I don't know how easy do you think that can be, given the fact that yes. Governor Wike is, is politically active mm. and his, his interests, he has not hidden his interest, you know, to continue to you know, hold the political structure because he believed that he had made a lot of sacrifice to hold PDP together, not just at the state level, but even at the national level. Mm. Well, well, the thing, let's go to the structures. What are structures? Structures, if you want to form um, ESCO, what ESCOs? Mm. Um, they normally ask governor, As stakeholders, generally, stakeholders to, to, to nominate donate, people. Yes. Those are no, to donate names to nominate. To donate not people. nominate. Let's use the word nominate here. So to nominate people. So they will ask the minister to also put up names. If you come to chapter ESCO, they would also reach out. But the point is, the governor being the leader of the party at the state level must have that, must be given that choice of first refusal. You must accommodate the governor. If there are 10 slots to be filled, you have to give the governor four and share six to any other person, including the minister. And these are things that the minister did enjoy when he was governor. Mm -hmm. So what is good for, for me should also be good for Akim. You know, that's how it goes. But if you know and study the person of the minister, the minister is, we, I know we agree, is a one man's battalion, and he stays like that. But it must change, because you've been governor. You enjoy the immunity. You enjoy, you enjoy lots of stuff that comes with that office. And you are a minister. You didn't relax. You are a minister. Not just a minister. A grade A minister. All Come right. on, man. Cut some slack. Okay. Uh, well, let, no, let's, let's do this uh, 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 this way. Many people would say, look, um, not necessarily playing the devil's advocates, as I will say a lot of times on this show. 
Was there any agreement between former governor of the state, Nisam Wiki, and the current governor on how the state would be run before he was before he became the anointed candidate to vie for the position and before he eventually won as a governor of the state? That's one. Two, would such agreement be in the, to the benefit of the people of River State? Is it constitutionally binding for two people to come and say they've agreed to do this? To share I'm talking place. about structures. <laughs> to share the space <laughs> to, share the, to so to speak, uh, at this point in time. That's true. Now to lump it up so that you, you have this robust uh, I mean, submission at this point in time. The elders seem to be giving blanket advice. Some people are saying there should be, I mean, individual advice. You go to Wiki. Maybe they do this behind closed doors we don't know and talk to Wiki about what you expect him to do. You also talk to, uh, you know, Governor Simfubaya on what you expect him to do. And someone said, what else do you want us to say? The president himself had had both of these men and they've signed an agreement which many people say are saying shouldn't have come into being in the first place. Do you see any truth mm. inside, despite all the efforts that we see and some others we may never see? Let me tell you, the game changer happened just last week when the governor uh, swore in the uh, AG, AG, the attorney general, yeah. and he said, you know what, get prepared, you are going to prove the last administration. I tell you, I was sometime in office. If my successor now says he wants to go through the books, <laughs> go through the books, I may have to run back home and <laughs> see how I can either make peace with him or make my own defense. So that was the game changer. That was the game changer. And that, you know what gets back to that? Because the governor, former governor, came out to say that, okay, I made a mistake. Yeah. Everybody refuses to be a mistake. No, you can't call anybody a mistake because my being who I am today is God's divine plan. God could use you, but you can't call me a mistake. But it's within the rights of the former governor to say he made a mistake, but it's cool. If the mistake he made according to him is working for the reverse people, then so be it. It's a good mistake. It's a good mistake. So there will be truth, but the, 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 governor, the governor is the one leading right now, and the minister is distracted. He cannot tell you that he's not distracted. You and I know what is happening. And where the minister is now is as a result of the bargain he went into for rivers with the or progressive congress that is why he's trying to make sure he keeps close to chess his own the structure in rivers his structures in rivers but the governor must also you know so you know what is the river and rivers really works in both ways now when there are issues between the governor and the former governor the loyalists to the former governor resign and the former governor gives them federal appointments. Gives them federal appointments. Mm -hmm. So now there's a vacuum. And law does not allow vacuum. More commissioners. So if anyone you are from Rivers, you prepare yourself, keep your CV. By the time all the commissioners and advisors and government functionaries resign. drop, resign, who are loyal to the minister, you would have a job. Just keep your CV clean. So it's opening up a new vista in River State. And that is how it's supposed to be. At the end of the day, I believe that these two gentlemen, truly, if they are truly gentle, they would call themselves up, but it would be lots of beating. You put these two guys in the same room, they will exchange some blows, and I just hope that there's no Anna Anthony Joshua among them, so that everybody comes out safe, and there will be a way forward for the reverse people. All right. Uh, isn't this also a pointer to the issue of weak institutions that we've talked about over time? Uh, otherwise, why should the quarrel between two, two adults uh, from the population of about 5 million people hold everybody down? Uh, why do we complain about governance and development when there are ministries of works, mm. ministries of environment, all manners of ministries, yeah. su supposedly, you know, with um, professionals in those fields? Isn't this also part of the problem we're, talk we're talking about? It, it, otherwise, yes. if a budget has been passed and there are professionals in various, in various ministries, mm. why can't they just go ahead and implement the budget and do the work? Uh, but somebody has to drive those ministries. And this person must be a politician, a member of the structure. And that he's quarrel, he's quarrel with somebody who will have to stop him from mm. driving that process. <laughs> well, well, politics is a game of interest and loyalty. 
So if you appoint me somewhere, you expect that I protect your interest. If somebody calls me foolish or silly name, you should be able to tell the person, that is my ogre and you shouldn't be doing that. And if I continue serving in that government or in that company, it therefore means I'm not loyal to the person that gave me the opening. So for me, I agree with you, weaker institution. I agree. Listen, politicking and campaigning, electioneering is over. We must lead the people. We must bring about the much needed transformation. Listen, I listened to a report. Um, the CEO of a, one oil company, a French oil company, uh, said that uh, Nigeria is a fantastic country, but one of the worst places to do business in um, that was, Nigeria, that was a Monday, yeah. in Nigeria and in Africa is the Niger Delta. I'm com coming from the Niger Delta. I'm worried that the education is, there's poor education. And there's a sense of entitlement to those from the Niger Delta region. And the thing is that the irony is that everything, almost everything, where we depend as, a, as an economy, a moon economy, we depend on oil. And the oil comes from the Niger Delta region. So for me, I am worried. And these leaders are busy playing about structures, interests, sharing, sending prayers to people's emails, and all of that. And that is worrying. If you can strengthen the, 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 the institution, mm. then we will correct the all emotion right. that is going around about us from the Niger Delta oh, Okay, Victor, we have to round up this segment in about two minutes. Let's talk about the way forward. Mm. Some would say we, I mean, we're just going back and forth with the reverse issue. Yes. You think as if they we're finding a, a truth, and then we go back to what is going on. Do you ever see the possibility of these two men, uh, powerful men in River State, the governor, the former governor, coming together to, in fact, think about the poor River State and maybe set aside their personal interests? Do you see this ever happening? Yes, it will. It, it, it must happen. It should have happened just. It should have happened yesterday. I know with the call from former President Goodluck Ibele Jonathan, I know that you you start these guys would just stop sending their attack dogs to attack each other and you know, all of that. And I know for sure from the signals we are getting, um, we see the governor will sacrifice because Sen Sen um, 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 Minister Newsom Wiki brought you, gave you what you have. God used him to put you in that office. So he may have to do some sacrifices. And on the part of the minister, he has to play the big brother and also do some concessions. Whereas to the he governor. doesn't, because it seems to be having some former governors also packing him up and letting him know that he has some people behind him. His boss also will some talk to him. Also. His boss will talk to him, the president will talk to him and let him know that you either nip this The president is not a member of the PDP. He's not a member of the PDP, but he serves, <laughs> he's, he's, he serves at the pressure of the president. That's where the minister serves. So we believe, and I am very hopeful. Um, that uh, there will be truth in River State right. and uh, people will enjoy, Thank have you. that opportunity to enjoy. Thank you so much. We're speaking with Victor Etal and his perspective always very interesting when we bring him on. So thank you once again for your time and submission on the show. All right, you see watching News Hub with Sweet Guests in just a moment. Two other conversations you cannot afford to miss. Just stick around.